Hey, back again. Ninety-seven, I think so. Okay, and right there you got the last one, Maria's hobby, letter G, playing an instrument. Okay, playing an instrument. So right there you have all the answers, B, C, A, E, G. Yes, for this exercise. Okay, so the last one is G, thank you. And let's move to the next exercise because I have to hurry up. Okay, I have a couple of cameras off. So those students will be out, out of class because I don't see your cameras, guys. Ah, automatically, Dieguito. The camera is on. Okay, the next exercise is speaking part. Yes, speaking part. I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, six, only six. What I need to do? Well, I know nine, sorry, they are nine. Okay, what I need to do is to form questions questions okay come on guys you know how to form questions you are very intelligent so what is the formation question number one how many languages you speak excellent let me see how many languages Do you speak? How many languages do you speak? Great. Number two. Teacher. Yes. ¿Te acuerdas de tienen que usar para las oraciones los, todas las palabras? Um, I know what you mean. Okay, how many, how long have you? Well, in this case, you can use, in this, in this question, you can use one, studied or spoken. Which one you want to use? Studied or spoken? Studied. 
select only one. Okay, so what is the question number two? How long have you studied these languages? Okay. How long have you studied these languages? Great. Okay, number three. You can use your grandpa, your parents or your grandparents. Okay, select only one, one family member, parents or grandparents. Okay, Vale Rojas, no problem. Mm -hmm. Question number three. Your parents speak same language. Okay. Remember that when it's a question, do your parents and grandparents speak the same language? Or you want to use, do your parents speak the same language? Do your grandparents speak the same language? Do. You need to start the question with do because it's a question. Okay, and do because it's plural. Parents, two people, grandparents, two people. Question number four. Question number four is? Question number four is? What language do you speak? Do they speak? Do they speak, great. Question number five. Question number No, no one, the question number five. Which language do you like to? Which languages would you like to learn? Why? Question number six. Question number six, guys. Hmm? No? Come on, guys. <clears throat> Have you ever visit any countries that speak a different language? Question number seven. Do you like learn English? Do you like learning English? Great.
Question number eight. Question number eight. Come on, guys, this question is really easy. What's the most difficult about English? Or what's the most difficult thing about English? And question number nine. What is the question number nine? It's very similar to the number eight. Student? No? Ok, ya vamos con siete de calificación el día de hoy. I told you, when you don't answer, sorry. I take your points. What is the best thing about learning English? Ok. Ok, guys. So, writing questions. Give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay, so let's pass to the page 98. Let's start the unit number 17. <clears throat> unit 17. Okay, so we finished this review. Remember to... Okay, right here we have staying healthy. Yes, staying healthy. Match the words in the box, yes, to the parts one, two, twelve. Yes, okay, so come on, guys. Match the parts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, and in a moment we check. And lo que ustedes están trabajando en todas estas partes del cuerpo, okay. Yo paso lista. Thank you. Okay, Diego Isaac. Present. Kevin. Present. Barbara Odette. Javier Sebastián. Ok, Javier Sebastián, ¿alguna razón por la que no hayas asistido a clases? No. ¿No? No, sí, dime alguna razón por la que no asististe a clases. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué, qué, qué tuviste? 
enfermo, este, te fuiste con tus papás a la ciudad. Tell me, what, what is the reason? Es que me fui con mi... Ok. Tamara Renata. Tamara. No, Tamara Renata. Denis. Ay, yeah. oh, señorita, ya que le puse sus dos fantas. Denis. Perdón, profe, es que mi internet está muy. Ok, gracias. Están trabajando en el libro, ¿ok? Peter. Present. Dani Alexa, apenas acaba de entrar. Present. Uh -huh. Letia Meyali. Present. Chavero. Presente. Ok. Ok, Max. Vale, Rojas. Reina. Here, teacher. Reina, ¿alguna razón por la que no hayas asistido ayer a clases? No. Eder. Present teacher. Razón por la que no asististe, asististe ayer a clases. No, creo que sí entré, profe, pero creo que entré tarde. Entonces, este, no creo que haya dicho presente. Sale, pues. Ya te quité una. Coronado. Present. Gracias. José Antonio Pascal. Sebastián Víctor. Ya me acordé, aquí está, ya me dijo la mamá. Sale Christopher. Ingrid Arlet. Present. Carolina. Present. Ángel Guadalupe. Adriana Camila. Santiago. Sale. ¿Ya terminaron? 
to finish this. Okay. Let's check them. Exercise number one, match the, the words in the box with the correct parts in, in the body. Okay, we have ankle, heart, neck, blood, stomach, brain, thumb, and others. You already finished matching or not? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, the number one is what? Brain. Brain, exactly. Uh, por un problema estaba, okay. Yes, of course, eh, Barbara. Okay, okay. Okay, the next, de déjame ver cómo está conformado esto. The number two is blood. Yes, the number three. What is the number three? Finger. Fingers. Okay, number four. Toe. Toe. Toe, yes. Number five. Excellent. Number six. Thumb. Thumb. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Neck. Neck. Number eight. Ear. Ear. Nine. Heart. Heart. Ten. Stomach. 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 Don't say stomach, okay? Stomach. And number eleven. Tongue. Yeah, tongue. <laughs> yeah, tongue. Don't say tongue. Tongue. And we have one more. That is the number 12. If I am correct. Back. Back. It's back. Yes. That is back. back. Okay. So you need to have all of, all of these all of these parts of the body really well memorized. Okay, so the next time when you describe your body, 
Yes, you know what part you are describing or you are talking about. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to the activity number two. Yes, with this unit, what you are recognizing, what you are working, what you are practicing. Yes, number one is this, body parts. Yes, body parts. Okay, so it is super, really important that you recognize every part of your body. Why? Because all of this unit is about this, including the grammar that in a moment I will teach. Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna check this book because, I mean, these last times, it's taking a lot of time. And now he's telling me it doesn't respond. Come on. Okay, he's here. Back. Don't be like this. Okay. Now the body parts A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Yes. What are they? Letter A. What is the part A? Eyes. I. Yes. B. B. Oi. Come on, what happened with the letter B? Oi. What's going yes. on? I want the letter B. Okay, let me do this. Okay, right there we have B is teeth. C, arm, um. D, your hand, E, foot, A foot, <laughs> yes, H, head, oh, sorry, 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 is F, Mouth, G, nose, and H, head. Okay, these are singulars, okay? Singular parts. You copy? Copy, copy. Okay, let's go to the next activity. Okay, he's moving.
we've already have, yes, nine minutes. Yes, I think we finished this. But yeah, I'm gonna check the book because this is strange for me that it's taking so much time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. My exercise number four, match the words to the definitions. You may need to make some of the words plural, okay? Remember, some words need to be changed in plural. So what I do in case that I want to do this plural, only I include the S, like fingers. Okay, and that one is plural, automatically. Yes, why? Because I have five. Ears, I include the S. Why? Because I have two. Okay, well, number one, you got 10 of these on your feet. Fingers. Finger. But it's on your feet. It's in tu pie. It's on your feet. Finger. Let me see. Toes. Okay, guys, it's on your feet. Fingers is on your hand. So they are two different. Uh, Parts. Your food goes into here when you eat. What is it? Stomach. Stomach? Stomach. Yes. No, I guess stomach. Mm -hmm. You think, you memorize with this. Brain. Excellent. These joints, connecta, these joints, your leg, to your foot. Ankle. Okay, give me a moment. Come on, brothers, brothers. Uh oh, uncle, yes. You got four of these in each hand. Okay, they say four. You got four of these in each hand. So what are they? Fingers. Fingers. Mm-hmm. This carries things that keep us healthy around our bodies. Okay. <laughs> Fingers, one more time. No, head. No. Ah, okay. Head, no. It is blood. 
Seven. This joins your body to your head. Your body, Back. your body and your head. Neck. Eight, you got one of these in each hand. Only one of these in each hand. Thumb. Thumb. You hear with this. You listen to music with this. Air. 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 Ears. This is opposite to the front of your body. Back. This sends blood around your body. Head. Heart. You use this to talk. Um. Tongue. Tongue. Mm -hmm. So you copy really fast. Ok, so now let's read this, lo que está hasta arriba, accident, yes, accident, let's listen to this person, yes, and try to see what happened to him yesterday, what happened to him yesterday, ok, uh, actually the activity right there is riding the bicycle, one, Two and three. Track 127. Accident. This is me with my new bike before the accident. Have you ever fallen off your bike and hurt yourself? Well, here's my story. It was my birthday. Thanks for all the texts. And this amazing bike was my present. I went for a ride by myself along the bike path. The path isn't usually busy, but that day there were two cyclists coming towards me. I slowed down as quickly as possible, but I forgot it was a new bike with good brakes. I stopped really suddenly and fell off. I hit my ankle and it really hurt. The two cyclists rode past and didn't stop. I sat on the ground and watched their backs as they rode away. They were enjoying themselves too. Oh, I don't know what happened to the listening. 